Hello world and welcome to this little tutorial. Um, today we're going to be re-thermal pasting a Zotac GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. There are many differing opinions as to how often you should re-thermal your PC components. I recommend doing it at least once every year or two. That just keeps everything running at its full potential. If you start to notice you're getting higher temperatures on your components, then it might be a good time to try it. So first of all, you're going to need a handy tool kit, and you're also going to need some thermal compound. I am going to be using some Arctic MX4, since I've had success with that in the past. You're also going to need some alcohol of the non-drinking variety, and you will also need some Q-tips and some paper towels. Next, we're going to grab a screwdriver bit that fits your card. We'll take those out one at a time. They're spring-loaded screws, so they actually will jump out at you if you're not careful. Another note is to not do this when your card is still hot. Make sure that you've given it ample time to cool down. So after you get these screws out, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around and we're going to apply some pressure to pull it apart here. If you grab it by the back end here and pull a little bit, you can get a good grip on it. Um, also, make sure that you keep an eye on the cables. You don't want to yank those out of the board. You have your thermal pads. These can be replaced. I'm not going to be doing that today. Those are the little green pads on the copper there. For me, they still seem to be in pretty good shape. I'm going to go ahead and blow it out with a can of compressed air as well. I usually prefer an air compressor, but if you don't have one handy, these will do just fine. Now we're going to take some rubbing alcohol and try to clean off this GPU as best we can. First going to rub it down with a Q-tip. It's been soaked in alcohol. So you can bring out that shine. Careful on the sides. You don't want to get any of that thermal compound wedged into the pins there. I'm using a headlight so I can see a little better. I apologize if that shines on the lens a little bit here and there. Also, I should mention I'm wearing some anti-static shoes at the moment. It is good practice to at least wear one of those anti-static wristbands when you're dealing with sensitive components like this. I'm going to use a brand new toothbrush to work out some of the paste from the little pins here. Keep in mind that if you do use one of these duster cans, do not hold it upside down or it will spray frozen liquid onto your card. Just make sure you get it as clean as you possibly can. This particular type of uh, paper towel I'm using, I've got at the auto section of your local superstore. Seems to work better than regular paper towels because it doesn't flake off as much or tear as easily. Now I'm going to take this as well and clean off the copper on the other side of your card here. Get some of that caked thermal paste off. Try not to bump your thermal pads too much. I got a little bit too close here. I'm going to probably speed this process up so I don't bore you to tears. This is when you could replace the thermal pads as well. Mine are really nice looking still, so I'm not going to be doing that this time. Once again, I'm going to be using Arctic MX4 for my card here. Other options are available. I'm going to put just a little dot on here. That's probably too much, but it should do just fine. And I am going to spread it out here. So this is not always necessary because the pressure of the card itself will actually spread this out pretty good, but I like to make sure that it has a nice even coat. It can save you later. All right, now we are ready to reassemble. Simply turn the card around, place it right back where you found it. Try to line up the edges with the screw holes. It should push together fairly easily. And we're going to flip it around. Grab your trusty screwdriver. Screw in those five screws again. Sometimes it might not line up quite right. You might have to wiggle it just a little bit to get it just right. That actually helps spread the thermal paste a little bit as well. Just enough to hold it tight. Don't need to over tighten here. Go around once more. Make sure everything's all secured. And there you have it. And with that, stick around for more videos and thanks for watching.